Welcome back, it's UK Urbex, and today's episode we are in uh, La Gondola. So this place is quite famous, it was featured in Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares in 2005, as the place was losing a lot of money, as it was had a lack of customers, and was just basically producing old food from the 1970s. So I'll put the full episode below so you can watch that if you're interested, and see what the kitchen actually looked like back in its heyday. But yeah, sadly, the kitchen eventually closed down in 2007, due to a lack of customers and basically the woman just wasn't fit enough to run it anymore which is quite sad as she put all her life savings in she put 500,000 in it after a mum passed away so now I'll take you into the hotel so you can see what it looks like for yourself and what remains of the kitchen so please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and now I'll take you straight on to the main audio if you ever watched uh, Gordon Ramsay's kitchen or the Hell's Kitchen I think it's called actually, sorry uh, this place featured in that uh, it basically ran into a lot of trouble, so they got Gordon Ramsay on. And he did actually come and save it, believe it or not. Whoa, look at all this. Old film rolls here, that's... I don't know what they're doing here. Yeah, that's... It is quite badly damaged, but it's... It's strange all the legal documents are actually still here. Which I don't understand, but... Yeah. So this is the actual kitchen, so you will might recognise this if you ever watched it the show of it in. I might actually put the uh, show in the uh, comments. I'll pin it to the top so you can actually watch what the kitchen looked like when it was open because I can't really put clips into this because it'll be, uh, what is it called, copyrighted. So if I just put the full episode in and you can watch it for yourself. Yeah, this was Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. So you can see it's not in bad, well it is in bad condition. I don't know why I said that, it's not in bad condition because it's actually fallen apart compared to when it was on Gordon Rams. This was the dining area. Still the same tables. Everything's still here. Even though the episode was over 10 years ago, everything is still here from the when it was Gordon Rams' kitchen. I do like the ceiling and stuff. And when I take it to the main archway out front. So I'll show you that. But yeah, it's interesting to explore. So I think basically, I, I can't remember if the, the woman took it on because her husband died or her parents died and she used her inheritance to buy this kitchen, which is what she did. And you can see, this is what she got. But yeah, there is parts of the explore which you think, oh, that's really nice. And other parts, you can just see it's just gone totally to wrap and ruin. The floor's completely gone in here. This is now the main dining area. Uh, be careful because like I said the floor has gone but yeah this is the main dining area look at that so that is beautiful I do really do like that I mean this looks like it's only gonna be a short video because I'm not sure what the upstairs is like this is all right I will take you in it if not then I won't be able to but yeah I do like this archway and the hallway area this is probably my favorite part to explore it looks like some explorers have been in and set these tables up. Looks like it's ready for Mother's Day. Uh, yeah, that's the nicest bit of the explore so far. On oh, this table, I think this was, I think I remember this on there. But they did actually have some good chefs and good waiters in here. And it's just a shame that the whole building's crumbling now. And there's not much left of the place. So, yeah, look at this. Very sad. Very sad indeed. So quite a few people have explored this place, so it's not like an original explorer or anything. You say it's not in the best of condition, but that does look good up there. I'm just gonna show you it now. So you can see the bar right in front of us and do like this uh, archway and hallway here. So, I haven't found the staircase. Oh, now we have. So that says like a lounge room over here. This could have been a waiting area back in the day. Look at these chairs, quite amazing. I do like these chairs, quite amazing. This room is still quite nice. So there is still some decent stuff to the place, like the art decor here and stuff. I mean, a lot of it's mock, it's not proper. But yeah, it's supposed to be an Italian restaurant. So yeah, I never actually told you at the start. This is actually built as Italian restaurant stroke hotel. And it opened, I don't know when it opened. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do a proper intro 
that I'll be on that. So I'm just going to be careful now because the floor ain't in the best of condition here. As you can see. So. Ah, here we go. This might be the sign on here. So I can show you that. Here, there we go. Hotel and restaurant. So it gives you that sort of a, uh, what is it called? Is it Vienna or whatever the place is? But it's all on the water. This is the main office though. Look at this. Look, the, the photo machine and all that's still in there. Crazy. Because you just expect it when I'm looking at the downstairs, it's all going to be trashed. But it's not actually like that. There is some, I wouldn't say decent parts to it, but semi decent parts to it. There's like one of the room fridges we throw in the hallway. This is room number 10. So, oh wow. There's actually beds and stuff still in here. Okay, I wasn't expecting that because judging by the outside and everything else, it looked very trashed, but it's actually got better now than going along. So, the bathroom is actually quite spacious. When you look at it. So I'm glad I've come in here now. I wasn't too mind whether to come in here or not, but you know, I'm actually glad of coming in here. It's so much me and Jack wanted to do ages ago, which you say. I don't know what's happened to Jack these days. He's not still alive, he might not be. Uh, yeah, we should be back exploring with us at some point. There's a book over there called Pulse, I don't know if anybody's heard of that. There we go. So, hopefully, we're going to get this up on Friday. Yeah. So there was some builders or something here earlier that have disappeared now anyway, so that's the main thing. So. But yeah, these, these rooms are actually better than on the floor. See if there's any beds in this one, room number eight. Can I show you number eight, please? Oh yeah, look. This is actually quite a nice little explore. Uh, zoom me out, zoom me back in, times two. So yeah, you can see some urban explorers have been in here and probably set this up, because I doubt this is going to be like this. And you always get a whole new Bible, I don't know if you in hotel rooms, so, well you do in the UK, I don't know if you do in the rest of the world, but yeah, let us know if you do. And there's a bathroom there. Yeah, sorry, I didn't actually bring my urbex torch, because it looked like they were working on it. So... I left it in the car, which obviously is a stupid thing to do, but that's the sort of person I am. I'm not the most well educated person. And then I book that. Look at this. So it's like people are going to renovate the beds. But yeah, I like this. So I'll do a pano and stuff with the place. But there you go, there you go. I can't even pronounce the name. It's at La Gondole Hotel or something. I don't know. I might have to find a double bed for you. Uh, yeah, not having much luck so far. I do like this hotel. So that's a shower in this one. This is the first one I've seen with a shower and all the rest have got uh, baths in. I think most British people prefer baths than showers, but yeah, if you any arguments or anything, please feel free to correct me. Ah, here we go. Finally, I've got one with a double bed in. Took a while, but we got there. And that's another bathroom. It's amazing because the actual baths are still in here. And the toilets are. There. Usually they just rip everything out, but they haven't done for once. But yeah, this is actually quite a picturesque. That's back downstairs, so I don't want to go in there yet. This is what room five's all about. Another double bed one. That looks quite nice. So you can see, yeah, it's it's actually got some architecture and nice stuff to it, but yeah, that's about it. So it is a decent explore. Uh, that's probably about it for the upstairs, but I'll get some photos and stuff. I said before, 
Please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and do all that good stuff for us. All helps with the channel, all helps grow it. If you do enjoy our videos. If not, leave a comment below and ask us how we can improve. We're always up for improving. Oh, there's a conference room over here. So, you know what I mean? We, we do take criticism seriously. That's an old iron, look at that, that's pretty cool. So, let's see if we can find this conference room for you. Whoa, sorry about that everyone. Another door room. See, they're, they're all pretty much the same now, these rooms. So, I don't know where this conference is. This conference room, but I can't see it anywhere. Oh, wow. It's a... Yeah, so they are looking the same now. So, I'm not going to show you any more bedrooms. Well, hotel rooms, should I say. Unless something stands out. I'm only going to show you the uh, conference room now, if I can find it. Been, not doing very well at the moment. This is a conference room. Conference room, there we go. It isn't actually as good as what I thought, but you can see it's all come through. And all the ceilings collapsed. And yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to read what this sign says here. The upstairs is actually bigger than the downstairs, if you wonder why I'm missing stuff. Danielle Suite, rooms 19, 20, restaurant. Oh wow, look at that, you see? The floor's completely gone there, so I can't go any further. I'm sorry to say. So that brings us to the end of the video. So we will see you in the next one.